Think about writing your story. Write down your story. Write down all the things that you've written. So, you know, when I, when I asked you the icebreaker today, there was an icebreaker. I did that on purpose because you might have one belief you can actually start with right now. So whatever that limiting belief is, write down the story that helped create that belief. Help write down, you know, the origin point of that. What was it? This is time for some journal journaling. And then change that story. So that's our first tip for today. Change your story. Use the exercise to write down that story and then change it. Okay? This is what I want this person to do. Whether they'll do it or not, they may not. But to me, you wrote all of this. How about you change it? You know, how about you change what, what you think your interpretation of this is? You know, you can make that decision. So that was the first thing. Um, then, of course, they said they, they followed up here after I had suggested that. And I think this is where I suggested it. Um, yeah, because I said, from what you shared, you're talking about the effects of trauma, which can be addressed with a good therapist, self-affirming activities, and a positive support system. Um, so my, my advice was like reread everything you wrote and then change the narrative to something more empowering. Okay, they responded back with some more and says, and then they say this, I don't think anyone can fully understand the ties unless they've been through it. That's it. That's all. Because essentially they feel like their situation is unique to them. And the truth is, is that trauma is not unique to anyone. And that's, but when you have been traumatized, it feels like that. One of the biggest shifts that I found on my own like spiritual like journey when I was really starting to open up and realize that I had traumas and I was having traumatic responses to things was is that there was a period of time where where I thought I was alone, the universe said otherwise. So as I started to become more aware of a lot of the things that I had been feeling and holding on to, person after person after person after person started sharing their stories with me and when i tell you these stories would come it would be in like the most bizarre ways one time um i just somehow brought it up and then the right away the person shared yeah that happened to me too um talk about me too right um then i went out uh, let's see i'm trying to think of how it was in phone and conversations we'd be like at like you know a fast food place and all of a sudden someone just shared their dramatic story that i could respond to i'm walking down the street with a new friend and then all of a sudden they're like yep mm -hmm, that happened to me too and all of a sudden we are everywhere i went it was like it got to the point where it was like i wasn't meeting people who could not relate to my story um, then I remember one of the last times it was a real trip because it was someone who just seemed like just, a, just so positive, so wonderful. Um, and we were, and we're sitting down, we go to have a lunch. It was just a random lunch. Okay, let's hang out. We sit down at the lunch and then guess what happened? They just offered the story. And that was the first time I realized, oh gosh, you're not alone. You're not the only person who's experienced this. But I think what was so beautiful about them sharing the story was, was that they were some, they were they went through, they had already started the healing process. So now I realized I wasn't alone, but also the healing can be done. Because at first I was just meeting people who were brushing it off. They weren't really dealing with it. Like, oh yeah, that happened to me too. But there wasn't the actual, and I'm getting help for it. And then it was like, finally, after all these people, then this person comes and like, mm -hmm, and I also got help for it. And I was like, oh, shoot. And that's what inspired me to then go into therapy and get the help because I had had a list of people who had all been helped. I've been having the visions of the therapist <laughs> popping in. Um, that was my first instances of seeing like visions and people. And then I had that. So that is something to understand because this person here is pretty much saying that i don't think anyone can understand the ties or really their experience unless they've been through it and i think that what so to me what i'm really seeing is is that they feel alone um there and i understand that because i think you feel alone until you're not anymore and you realize oh gosh my experience is not unique it's not even special and it sucks that it's not special and unique because you're like, when you care about other people, it's sad to know that other people have been through um, horrible things. Um, Cause then you're just like, ugh, I'm here on this planet with these people who do horrible things and hurt each other. But the other aspect of it that makes it beautiful is realizing at the same time, 
there's enough people who have been through this, which also means there's been work that's been put in to help me and I can be helped and I can heal.